Set up NordVPN on QNAP NAS This is the tutorial on how to set up your CNAP NAS based on TS-112P version of the disk station using 4.2.1-2016-0201, firmware version. The instructions were made for connection to the US number 119 server. Note that if you connect to the other server, you need to name it in all the steps accordingly. You will be able to connect to your CNAP control panel, configure OpenVPN and check whether you have successfully connected. Part 1, Connect to your CNAP Control Panel 1. In order to connect your CNAP NAS device to VPN we will need to access its control panel. The easiest way to do that is using the CFinder app provided together with CNAP NAS system. Please run the app and wait a few moments for the CFinder to find the CNAP connected to your local network. A few moments after opening the app you it should list your NAS device. Double click on it in the list and its control panel will be opened in your default internet browser. 2. You will now be able to log into your CNAP control panel. 3. In order to set up the VPN connection, you will need to use your administrator account. Part 2, Connect your QNAP NAS via NordVPN OpenVPN 1. Using Notepad or any other text editor, create a new text file on your computer. Before editing further, change the file extension from .txt to .ovn, you may have to enable the showing of file extensions in your operating system. We will be connecting to US number 119 server using UDP protocol and thus we call it S119 UDP. If you want to connect to a different server, please change the line remote 206.226.72.1051194 to contain the IP address of the server you want to connect to. You also need to change the CA, text between CA and slash CA lines, and TLS, text between TLS off and slash TLS off lines, keys to these of the server you want to connect to. You can find the IP addresses as well as CA and TLS keys of the server you want to connect in the .ovn. Configuration files that can be downloaded from https slash slash nordvn.com slash ovn slash, note, the .ovn. File you download from the website cannot be used instead of the file we created, as they have slightly different content, too. Create a second text file with your username and password. We named the file nordpass.txt. Enter your username in the first line and password in the second line of the file, nordvn underscore username nordvn underscore password 3. Access your QNAP user interface. Open the file station on your QNAP, navigate to the slash download slash directory and create a new folder named VPN by clicking the plus sign at the top of the window. You should now move the created.ovn file, in our case, us119udp.ovn and nordpass.txt file you have created to this directory. 4. You also need to create another text file called CACRT that has to contain the CA certificate of the server. You can copy the same certificate as used in the .ovn. Configuration file. In our case, since we are connecting to US number 119 server, our CACRT file contains this information content. 5. Access your QNAP user interface again and go to Control Panel Applications VPN Client. 6. In the VPN client menu from the add drop down menu select open VPN. 7. Fill out the open VPN client settings, enter US 119 UDP as a profile name. You can name the profile however you like, however it is most helpful to name it for the server and settings used, type in the IP address of the server. You need to enter the same IP address as used in the remote line in step number 1, enter your NordVPN credentials, change the encryption to highest. Ease 256 bit, upload the CACRT file you have created earlier, enable allow other network devices in the same subnet to connect to the VPN through the NAS. 8. You will now need to connect to your QNAP disk station using SSH tunnel. For that you can use PuTTY, WinSCP, Windows, or Terminal, Mac OS X, Linux. In our cases we will be using PuTTY client for Windows. You can download PuTTY at https slash slash the dot earth dot lee slash zgdatham slash PuTTY slash latest slash x86 slash PuTTY dot exe. In the host name, or IP address, 
field enter the local IP address of your QNAP, in our case, 192.168.1.60, and click Open. 9. Enter the username and password of your QNAP administrator account. 10. Use this command to open the VPN underscore OPEN VPN underscore CLIENT dot SH file. 6 slash etc slash init dot D slash VPN underscore open underscore client dot SH. Then press A. Important. Copying the text to the 6 editor tends to leave out some of the first characters of the copy pasted text. You may need to manually type in the missing part of the copied text. Now you need to change the beginning of this file from number. Slash bin slash sh vpn underscore conf equals slash etc slash config slash vpn dot conf vpn underscore number equals dollar two vpn underscore conf underscore s equals one vpn underscore conf underscore a equals ten to number slash bin slash sh open equals slash usr slash bin slash open client pid file equals slash var slash run slash open dot client dot pid Open underscore conf equals slash share slash download slash vpn slash s one nineteen udp dot open open underscore conf underscore path equals slash etc slash open vpn underscore conf equals slash etc slash config slash vpn dot conf vpn underscore number equals dollar two vpn underscore client equals open underscore client dollar vpn underscore number max underscore vpn underscore index equals 255 once you complete editing the file press esc and enter this command wq it will save all the changes you have made to the file also restarting your qnap disk station will reset all changes made to this file therefore you will need to repeat this step after each qnap restart to connect to vpn 11 you can now connect to the VPN using this command, open config slash share slash download slash VPN slash s 19 udp .ov. 12. Executing the command will not generate any message in the PuTTY window. Therefore, you need to open the open.log file in the slash download slash VPN directory to confirm that you got connected to the VPN. The last line of the log file should be initialization sequence completed. Part 3. Checking whether your IP was successfully changed to check if you have successfully changed your IP address as well, you can follow these steps. 1. Please go to this website and copy the location of the magnet link. Do not close this page just yet. 2. Now open download station on your QNAP user interface and add a URL to your downloads list. 3. In the new window, paste the magnet link you have copied a few at the beginning of step number 13 and click next. In the next window hit apply without making any changes. 4. Now you can go back to the website you have copied your magnet link from and see what IP address your QNAP is using. Of course, it should show the IP address of the server you are connected to. Done.